As per another request, this time I'm going to show you how I fit a gun flint to the uh, to the gun lock. This is the uh, parts I carry with me, and this is my saw small tool kit that I carry in my shop pouch. Here are some uh, original 300 year old gun flints, um, probably made in uh, Brandon in England. You note the, the shoulder on top, I call it the shoulder here, and the bevel and the, uh, the edge of the flint here. So this is a one-sided gun flint can only go in that way but it can go up this way depending on where you want it to strike on the actual hammer here you can see the shoulder in the middle and a bevel this side and a bevel that side so this gun flint has two edges and can be used either way and again of course it can be turned up the other way depending on where you want it to uh, where you want it to strike the hammer this is the hammer what some people these days call a frizzen and this is the hammer face Here you can see the flint held in the jaws of the cock. And if you see here, the bevel on this one is actually on the bottom, and the shoulder on the bottom. So the flat part of the flint is upward. Okay, at present the cock is forward. And the pan is open. So to change the flint, I pull it back to half cock. Undo the screw on top. And take out the flint. Now this one is being held in leather. You can use sheet lead. It's, uh, it's a personal choice and which works best for your gun. Um, I prefer leather. I've tried both and I still prefer leather. This one again, if you can see here, we have the shoulder. We have two edges. Two cutting edges. This edge has been used. This edge hasn't. I can put it in either that way or I can put it in this way. Let's try putting it in this way first so you can see the difference. I'll just do it up lightly. Close the hammer down. Bring it forward. That's where the flint's striking. Okay, which is about a little over halfway up. Okay, but I want a little bit more than that. I'd like it a little bit higher for this gun because it seems to spark better. So pull it back to halfway again, put that forward, put the hammer forward to give myself a bit of room. Take the flint out, we'll turn it over. Okay, so the bevel and the shoulder are now at the bottom. And we'll do it up again, just with the fingers. Close the hammer down. Pull the trigger and release it, but hold it 
Now as it strikes, as it meets the hammer here, it straightens the flint out. Okay, so that the edge is touching all the way along from one side of this flint to the other is touching on the face of this hammer and it's now as you can see slightly higher striking slightly higher on the hammer face than before. Now that's where I want it. So I have to hold that there because the spring is pushing the cock forward but I've got that where I want it now. That edge that edge is sitting flush across the face of that hammer. So now, holding it there, I can tighten it up. Now with it set like that, in that position, it will strike just right. It will strike where I want it to strike on the hammer face and all of the flint is in contact with the hammer face. And that's how you fit a gun flint.